Tips for taking indoor photos. Once you become a shutterbug, you'll find opportunities to take as many indoor photographs as outdoor ones. The basic difference with indoor and outdoor photos is the lighting. Outdoor lighting is generally good so long as you watch for shadow in appropriate places. Indoors, you'll probably need the artificial lighting provided by the flash, but there are still some things to go wrong. One thing that can spoil your picture is reflected light. This is light that reflects off a shiny surface and causes bright white patches in the wrong place. Let's face it, anywhere is the wrong place. If you're lucky, it won't be right in Auntie Ella's face. So beware of posing your subject too close to a window. Even the shiny surface of a wall or refrigerator can cause reflected light to show up. Red eyes are another horrible addition to your photo. These days, most cameras have a red eye reduction feature. If yours doesn't, console yourself with the thought that red eyes mean your eyesight is good. One neat little trick to reduce red eye is to take two photographs quickly, one after the other. Red eye is caused by the flash reflecting on the iris of the eye, which is whiter inside due to the dimmer light. Once your flash has gone off, the bright light will cause the iris to close, so the second photograph should have a greatly reduced red eye, or none at all. Just watch that the subject is not blinking from the first flash when you take the second photo. If you increase the light in the room, it will have the same effect as helping the iris to close, or you could have the subject avert their eyes from the camera. When you take an indoor photo with just a flash, it tends to bleach out the front people while dimming out those in the back. To avoid this problem, try opening your aperture to as big as it will go. This will let a lot of light in. The best shutter speed is about 1 60th. If your camera does not allow manual adjustment, make sure there's plenty of light from other sources. If you have lamps, try and have them overhead if possible to mimic the position of the sun. Your flash should prevent any unwanted shadows from forming. While indoors, people are more likely to sit on a sofa to have their photo taken. This can be a problem if the sofa is under a window or the wall behind it is shiny. But another problem is that their legs are closer to the camera than their faces. It might be advisable to take the photo from the waist up. That way, no one will be able to complain that you gave them fat legs or knobbly knees.